Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about all my favorite nudes. Nude lipsticks, liners, and glosses. I'm keeping it to, I have so many. I could show you guys probably a hundred lipsticks. It's excessive, I know, but I wear them a lot. I am keeping it to ones that you can purchase right now. There's a few that I wear, including, this is like my, this is my new ride or die lip liner and I've talked about it to death and I definitely have backup upon backup. This is the Rimmel number 49 liner, lasting kisses, no, lasting finish, thousand kisses. If you can find this somewhere, get as many as you possibly can. This is my boo thing, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video other than what I just did because I couldn't find it to link it. So I left it out of this video, but no that this goes with everything. So if you happen to find it somewhere, like Walgreens, Rite Aid, Walmart, anywhere like that, number 49 natural, grab it up. But I'm gonna go over everything that I wear most consistently with one being more on the, one or two being more on the nude side. And these are just my favorite go-to nude lipsticks. These lean a little bit more on the neutral to pink side. I used to be all about the peachy ones. I think there's one peachy one in here, but I used to be all about peachy brown. And now I really love a good neutral pink or even a little bit more pink type of color. I'm gonna show you guys swatches on my lips of the glosses that I go for the most. I'm going to talk about which ones I wear on top of things or if I wear them alone. And then I'm going to show you guys all the lipsticks without a liner. I do want to mention that I typically wear a liner. I'm going to go over those first. I have this little dish here. <laughs> I think this was a top to like a candle or something weird. I don't know. But I kept it because I realized that I was constantly, constantly having to go in this drawer behind me or search through these drawers to be able to find the liners that I use the most. So I keep them in here as well as my sharpener and it kind of keeps the mess out of my area right here and I just dump the excess into the trash. So I'm going to tell you guys the liners that I use with these lipsticks because typically I don't wear a nude without one of these liners. I don't necessarily have a specific one that I use for specific colors. It just depends on if I want the color to be lighter or darker or slightly more brown in it or more pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you swatches of these. The first one is from Chanel. And as you can see, this one is very well loved. This is number 34 Natural. And this is the longest wearing out of all of them. Then we have number 20. 20 from Bite Beauty. I'm not sure if this is going to be going out of stock or not. It is on sale at the Bite website as well as on Sephora, but I haven't been able to find number 20 on Sephora, so I've been able to find it on the Bite Beauty site. I don't know if they're going to do away with these. Hopefully not because I really like the formula of them. This is what I have on right now. It's very creamy, but not so creamy that it moves around. It stays in place. It's easy to apply and I really like the color. It's the perfect shade of pink. I just think this is beautiful. But again, I don't know if they're going to do away with them. All I know is that you can still currently get them. Another one that I have been loving is from Makeup Forever. And this is number 602. And the shade name is completely sepia. This is more of a traditional style liner, whereas the Bite one is definitely a little bit more creamy. And then the Chanel one is really, really long lasting and has that like almost pro long wear style type of formula, the ones from MAC. But this one is more of like the standard wooden type of pencils like these right here that I'm about to talk about. Strip Down, MAC Strip Down. This is my go-to when I want to make a lipstick just slightly more brown. And I will still put a pink lipstick on top, but I make sure to go all the way to the edges. I'm not one of those that typically like to have the liner really show. I like to have to line my lips and then fill them in and then put the lipstick on top so it kind of alters it just a little bit. But this one is a go-to, and then if I don't want it to be nearly as brown, I go with MAC Oak. So these are my top five liners, and I really don't stray outside of these unless there is something that's a... I want to be more peach or something like that. I have other liners, but these are my go-tos. These are the ones that stay right in here along... Oh, 
with my number 49. <laughs> but be wary if you end up buying the number 20 from Bite. Like I said, I don't know if it's going out of stock. So if you end up loving it, buy as many as you can. That's what I did because I'm scared about it going out of stock. Now let's get into the glosses. The first one is from The Bomb and this is called Snap with an exclamation point. This is my favorite, I think, of all to wear on its own because it's literally like not brown, not pink. It is so neutral and perfection. It doesn't move around my lips. It's the perfect consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. I love this. I just ordered another one because this one is uh, just about gone. I received this originally in PR and I have loved it ever since. This is definitely one of those that I've kept in my collection for a long time. Time. Then we have the coveted Pat McGrath glosses. I have two. The first one is Prima Donna. Now I was really excited about this shade because of the shade of pink. A lot of the times I can't find a good pink that is actually pink. You get it on and it looks more clear or it doesn't really have that pink color to it. And this one actually has pink to it. I can wear this one alone or on top of lipsticks. This is just beautiful. As well as this one. This is Nude Negligee. Now, this isn't really going to add, not even really, it is not going to add any colors to your lips. This is just going to give you a little shine. This is perfect to add on top of any lipstick, especially a matte lipstick that's really matte, but you want to add shine, but you do not want to alter the color and you don't want the formula to be too thick or sticky. This is it. I love this one to put on top of other things. And then when I want to add just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of sheen, and this one does have like a, a slight silver to it. This is from Fenty Beauty and it is Diamond Milk. This one is gorgeous on its own. I've worn this in several pictures on Instagram and people will be like, what is on your lips? And it's just this. I just think this is so pretty. It kind of brings out the pink in my lips, but then it creates a multi-dimensional shine. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. I would love to see a champagne from her too. Not gold, but like a champagne would be really nice because I like how the glitter in hers aren't over the top. So they're not chunky or anything like that. They're just subtle and beautiful. Next up, Salted Caramel from Bite Beauty. This one is gorgeous all by itself. And then on top of that, it has a smell of coffee and it is amazing. Like putting it on, it just smells so good. I really like the applicator on here as well. It's one of those little triangle applicators. And this is one that I really like to wear alone. It reminds me a lot of Ray of Sunshine. That was one of my ride or die glosses from MAC. It was a mineralized formula and I absolutely loved it. This reminds me a lot of that. So if that was one of your favorite glosses and you want something similar, this is definitely it. And then lastly for the glosses, the new ones from Hourglass. This is in the shade Child, which is a peachy pink. Oh my gosh, this is so stunning. And I wear this alone, I wear it on top of things, but the applicator on this is my absolute favorite applicator I think I have ever tried. It's rounded and it's like a paddle. It is so easy to apply. I can get right against the lines of my lips. It has a slight like minty feeling, but not tingly and plumping. It's just slightly minty. I think that this is gorgeous. I have two other shades of this one, but Child is definitely my favorite. All right, now we're getting into the lipsticks. And the first one is actually the one that I'm wearing right now with the Bite Beauty liner. And this is Tom Ford All Mine. Right now, this is one of my absolute favorites. So you can see this by itself. It's definitely more on the neutral side, neutral pink and it has a nice sheen to it. It's not heavy on the lips. It doesn't dry out my lips. I love the Tom Ford formula so, so much. And this color is just absolutely everything to me. I am almost out of this one. Woo! I'm, see, <laughs> I'm always dropping stuff. I'm so sorry, baby. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, this is definitely one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna have to wash it off now, but 
Hearts. This is a stunning one. I never wear this alone, though it is always with a lip liner. And most of these are. Uh, I'll tell you the ones that I can wear on their own. Next up, we have Stelazi Sending Nudes Lip Cream. This formula is so nice. I have, I think, three of these now. <laughs> I bought my first one at iMats and I fell in love. I have several different shades. And then they ended up sending me over some. I do have a Stelazi code. It's linked down below if you're interested in it. I do not make commission off of that. It's just a link for you guys. But this is one of my absolute favorites. I can wear this alone or with a lip liner, but I tend to wear it with a lip liner. Now, the other one that I get a lot of use out of from Stelazi is Birthday Suit. This one reminds me of Natasha Denona's Dark Nude in the Creamy Formula. I can't find that anywhere now, and I don't know why, but this has basically taken its place. It is the nudest out of all of them and it's still that creamy pigmented type of texture i never wear this alone because of how nude it is but i love this on top of every single one of the liners i have talked about it is absolutely gorgeous when i really want just a very 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 nude lip again in with tom ford so all mine and this one i think are like my all-time two favorite nudes like ever to have ever existed i i definitely have backups of this because i think this is going to be limited edition i only found it on the tom ford site right now it's not on it was on beautylish it's not there anymore it was on nordstrom it's not there anymore either this is considered to be a satin matte type of formula but really i feel like it's more satin i have a nice shine with it it feels so good on the lips and the color is just unlike anything else i have never been able to do this shade i've had so many people ask me but i can't and because i can't that's why i have bought several more for backups because i just love that one so much a new recent love for me is definitely the new formula from becca the ultimate lipstick love this shade is the shade sugar oh my gosh it is such a perfect like cool neutral toned pink in the formula is very nice it's creamy it's hydrating but it's pigmented at the same time i just love this one so much next up donatella from pat mcgrath this is one that is dark enough that i can wear on its own i don't need a liner but i do tend to use a liner but i don't need one with this formula it's really nice and rich it's very pigmented and this is the luxe trance instead of the matte trance i personally prefer the luxe trance formula i like the matte trance don't get me wrong but i prefer with my nudes especially to have more of like a little bit of shine and that this one gives right in between it's like a satin it's perfect it's absolutely perfect this is a recent find for me and i have been hooked i have buying different shades left and right but this one's definitely my favorite it's from tarte and it's the color splash in beach babe now this one has been compared to the becca lipstick i've got to tell you the becca one these are very similar but the becca one has a little bit more shine while this one is a little bit more on the satin side and then the tarte one does not have as much pink as the becca one i know it's a little hard to tell even in pictures but there is a little bit of difference i mean we're talking about nudes here they're gonna have some similarities to them now we have one from Chanel. This is number 168 from the Rouge Allure line. This is one of the least pink ones in the bunch. It's definitely more on the neutral side on my lips. I think it could turn slightly brown on some people's lips, but on mine, it's pretty neutral. I love the packaging on this. I think it's so much fun. I do this and I just sit here and I'll play with it. If I had this in my hands, I would sit here and do this. The next two are from ColourPop. The first one is the shade butter this is the lipstick that made me want to try more and more lipsticks from ColourPop. this is a cream formula it is pink but slightly peach at the same time i think that this is absolutely stunning this is a really great formula great packaging 
price is unbeatable. I just love them. The next one is a matte formula, and this is in the shade Third Eye. I actually broke the very first one that I got, like it snapped in half, and I was like, oh, I have to have it back. <laughs> I find this matte to be pretty comfortable on the lips, doesn't dry my lips out or anything like that. And this is one shade that I can wear by itself. I can also wear butter by itself, but I tend to wear a liner with butter more often. And then the last one, and definitely the packaging award, it goes to Charlotte Tilbury's new Hot Lips 2. This is Angel Alessandra. Just look at the packaging. I have done a lip swatch video on all the ones that I picked up, but this this is everything. It's definitely the one with the most amount of color, but I would still consider this to be more on the natural nude side. So I just feel like I had to throw this in there. This is the perfect peach shade. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. It has pigmentation with one swipe. They are comfortable. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick formula and this just does not disappoint. Anywho, that is it. That is all of the ones that I have to talk about. Please let me know which ones are your favorites down below. Also, if you think that I'm missing out on a color, please let me know. I am always down to try out a new lipstick. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.